Welcome to Canasta Class. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how the game is played. It starts off with playing in partners sitting across from each other. All the cards are shuffled and each player is dealt 13 cards, as you see here in my card holder. Play begins to the left of the dealer and the player draws a card from the stockpile and places it in their card holder. Opening the game for each team with their initial meld meeting a required minimum point count based on each team cumulative score. Remember each card has their own point value. For example, the 10 is worth 10 points, the 5 is worth 5, the ace is worth 20. By creating melds, three like cards or more of the same rank and canasta seven card meld and place the melds down on the table during their turn, exposing them. A meld or canasta cannot have more than two wild cards and must have a minimum of two natural cards. So if we were to do our initial meld today, we would have aces with two wild cards. And then we would have three nines. And the point values are written. So here we have 50 points for the joker and 20 for the ace and 20 for the wild card. So you have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, which is all you need to do your initial melt. Don't forget to take out those threes and get a replacement card for them. He or she must then discard one card at the end of every turn. So here you want to discard your lowest card. The play moves clockwise to the direction of the left of the dealer. Cards are picked from the stockpile and discarded at every turn. Partners work together to make melds and create canastas by placing cards with their partner's melds that are already on the table. A side may not pick up or take the discard pile until they have completed their first melt. This is our first melt for today. Canasters are made of seven cards of the same rank with no more than two wild cards. So here we have nines, we have three of them. We need an additional nines to complete the canasta. So my partner lays down one, two, making one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. We have completed our nines to make a canasta. Play continues until all cards are picked from the stockpile or one player goes out by clearing his hand of all their cards and forming at least two canastas in order to go out. In addition to the point value on the cards, you receive bonus points for completing canastas. So we have one canasta, we receive additional points for that in addition to the values of the cards in the canasta. Each team's points are recorded and added to their existing score. A series of rounds or deals are played. Any cards left in your hand, if these were left in my hand, they would be subtracted from my total point values. Each deal point values are calculated from bonus cards, which is your threes, each type of canasta, and melts special hands, or there possibly could even be penalties which would be subtracted. The game ends and the first team to score 8,500 points wins the game. Let's talk about picking the pack. Here on the tray, my person to my right discarded a 10. I have four 10s in my hand actually, but I only need a minimum of two to be able to pick the pack. I will take the top card and place it down on the table with my two additional tens. And then I can take the tire pack and put it into my hand and then discard. The player can take the discard pile to make a meld if the top card matches the two additional cards of the same rank in their hand. There is a lot of strategy in Canasta and many special rules and restrictions. The idea is to create many Canastas as possible. Taking the pack is usually a good technique. However, it can backfire if you get stuck with penalty points for cards in your hand. Knowing the different penalties and bonus points is a concept onto itself. 
Remember, there are many variations and table rules. All are hours of fun and great for your mind. But wherever you play, may you enjoy the bonds and friendships you make playing great games. This video is a brief overview of the complex game of modern American Canasta. Thanks for watching. You can take lessons from me or find me on Facebook at Canasta Class or on my webpage, Mahjong Class, and click on the Canasta tab. Please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications.